We're at the Concord Naval Weapons Depot. This is in Concord, California, a bedroom community of San Francisco. Back during the Cold War, this place would have ranked just behind France as a nuclear power by warhead count. That's all been decommissioned, and now something of a different type of intrigue takes place here, teaching self-driving cars how to drive in the real world. Now they call it Gomentum Station. Gomentum Station is a 2,100-acre test city with 20 miles of roads, dozens of intersections, and lots of real, if decrepit, buildings. All of it on county land, but still secured by the military. Car makers like the fact the roads are rough, the lane lines in need of a restripe. That's great practice for a car learning to drive itself in the real world. And the part nicknamed Bunker City? That's comprised of 100 empty weapons bunkers, with a natural grid of streets between them. One part could be set up as left-hand drive America, another as right-hand drive Australia. 99% of the time when we drive on the roads, it's easy driving. 1% of the time, something unusual happens. So by testing at Gomentum Station, we're able to stage those 1% situations. A ball running across the road or a child coming out from between cars. We're able to test those unusual situations uh, in a safe and secure environment. Now how these vehicles see their way around Gomentum Station is many sensors. Here is a high resolution GPS antenna to make the mapping really precise. Uh, up here on the roof is a LiDAR. This does contour mapping with a, a spinning sensor that sees shapes in the world around it. And then cameras have their own unique ability to not just tell what's out there but where something is. But what's also being tested here is the early stages of V to V. Vehicle to vehicle communications or V to V is vehicles speaking or talking directly to other cars 10 times a second. Basic information, how fast am I going, what heading am I on, is there a, an aspect of the vehicle in motion that needs to be transmitted to another car. And what that does, it allows drivers to be warned, but it also allows vehicles to automatically avoid collisions. Honda and Acura engineers are here now. But Gomentum Station would like to add more curious geeks, from vehicle makers to those who may be one one day. Google, Apple, other manufacturers have approached us and we've taken a look at uh, maybe partnering with these companies to begin their testing here, at least in California and Concord at the, at the Gomentum Station. For their part, Honda Acura says they'll have this kind of technology on freeways in early stages by 2020. And perhaps just 20 years later, Hondas and Acuras that are crash free as a result. In Concord, California, Brian Cooley, CNET.com for CBS News.